Kashi is a modern industrial university city located in the very east of Romania, near the Moldovan and Ukrainian border. The city is home to the best medical university in Romania, which recently hosted a very special event. It was here that the world's best dental implantologists came together for their very first international world championship. For those organizing the event, it proved to be quite a challenge. Well, there was a lot of uh, organization, of course, necessary um, for the local organizers, for the colleagues who are working here in Yash. Uh, then the qualifications had to be done. We had to find, to get also visa for a lot of uh, participants. Actually, one team didn't get visas. They will participate uh, through Skype and we've sent a referee down there. Uh, so it was complicated. It's complicated because participants come from so many different countries also. The participating implantologists came from across the globe. Even individual teams had members from many different countries. Well, keep in mind our team is from Belarus, from Czech Republic and from Germany, so it's an international uh, tournament. The dental procedure being used at this World Championship was developed by Dr. Stefan Ide, and the total treatment time is around 72 hours. After just three days, patients can chew as normal using their new set of teeth. With other implantation methods, this can take months, if not years, to achieve. To contend at this high level presents a special challenge to the championship participants. Here's a first glimpse at the challenges ahead. I think it will be very tough competition. I know that the best implantologists from this world are coming to participate and they will do their best. Looking at the preparation of the championship clearly shows that CAD CAM operation aids were not part of the plan. What was the reasoning behind this? Um, well, these devices are, uh, of course, allowed, but uh, they consume uh, a lot of time. We have a time limit in this World Championship, this is 65 hours. After 65 hours, uh, the treatment must be finished, the bridge must be finally in. And if we would use these CAD CAM devices, uh, make a 3D plot, uh, drilling, uh, stand and so on, um, I guess this would take a day extra. We, this means we would lose a day of, of these uh, 65 hours and there's uh, no way that we can do it. I mean, anyway, those surgeons who are, who are here, uh, they are extremely um, experienced. I mean, they, they simply use their hands and their eyes and their nose to find the bone. And uh, I don't know any of the real specialists uh, using these templates. You know? I mean, we know what we are doing. And what about other preparatory work? Were the participants allowed to view x-rays of the cases they would treat as part of the championship? No. Uh, nobody of the participants was able to know with which case they have to, will have to deal tomorrow. Expectations are high and the teams are excited. The very first International Dental Implantation World Championship can begin. It's 9 o'clock on Monday morning. All the participants are at the clinic and the patients are already in the waiting room. The first x-rays are being taken and strategies as well as procedural approaches are being discussed. The operation theatres are kitted out to the very highest standards and lie ready for today's patients. The final preparations are completed and the participants begin operating. Patients are treated in three different operating theatres. As mentioned earlier, the implantation technology being used is one which was developed by Dr. Stefan Ide. The implants come from Ide Dental and were specifically developed for this treatment method. So the aim of our company is uh, to create successful doctors so we could help every patient. Uh, for us, we just continue where everybody else has stopped. For this, we need very well-educated and very well-trained doctors. The operations are now well underway. Let's take some time to hear from some of the implantologists participating in the championship. What makes your treatment method different to other such implantation procedures? Well, for our way of putting implants, we are using uh, cortical bone. Uh, this means 
we need a lot of knowledge about anatomy, where the bone is, where the corticals are, because the, the skeleton is quite a complicated bone. It's not like, like, like a round bone or arms or tibia. So um, we use, in a very intelligent way, I would say, this bone, this cortical bone, uh, and we know exactly where it is. And uh, after this, we are loading the implants immediately. We are splinting them. Actually, the splinting is, is more important than the loading. Um, thereby we secure the implants so they can heal in and um, this splint actually is just, that's what we sell to the patient this is we call it the bridge that's actually what the patient wants that's why the patient comes to us so this is this is the different in in two-stage implantology the they are digging in the implants they wait for biologic healing some some bone growing towards the implants and so on this is not necessary in our technology because we are using cortical bone this bone is ready to work immediately, it's, it's highly mineralized. Uh, there is a low metabolism in this bone, that's also what we appreciate. So this bone um, doesn't show any reaction, we don't want any reaction. We, we want simply the bone to accept the implant and not to do anything. Uh, this is what we are doing. Basically we work like, like tomatologists, like, uh, like those guys who, who fix the, the broken limbs. In our work and in other doctors' work in dental implantology, the main difference is that uh, we are finishing the cases with immediate functional loading. Okay. The concept of immediate functional loading is that patient need not have to wait for a period of life, say about two months to four months or maybe six months, sometimes eight months. Okay. We can finish up majority of the cases in just three days period of time. Uh, it is not a, a big difference. Uh, the patients uh, will be received uh, a prosthetic uh, much quickly. Uh, and uh, sometimes uh, we can do it uh, much better. We can solve the patient's problem in just a few days with no, without augmentation, with nothing. So this is the, the biggest difference. We are just uh, using the native bone and uh, nothing more than this. Can every patient, irrespective of their medical circumstances, be treated within three days? I would say yes. We treat almost everybody. It means any patient who who is passing by uh, can get implants. Of course, around, as I told, around 99.9% .9 cases we can complete it within 72 hours, within three days. And in medical science and dental science, there's nothing like 100%. That's why I always say 99.9%. .9%. Yes, this can be done with uh, immediate loading uh, implant system in um, strategical implantology from Professor Ide. I think this is the best option for these patients. Yes, I think 99.9% percent of patients can be done in two or three days with these implants, with this system. So every patient can get this. Why should patients choose this method of treatment and technology? The patients look around for affordable treatment and they look all over the world in the meantime, they look in the web, they are well informed, they are uh, very often more informed than their, than their doctors and uh, so that's how they find us and uh, looking at my, my work and our work and my colleagues work, uh, we get a lot of patients from abroad who, who don't find this technology in their countries, for example the UK, Norway and so on. These are countries where basal implantology is not available yet, I mean there are no trained doctors no clinics. Uh, simply these patients have to travel and then they decide whether they come to us or they go to India or to Russia or to any of uh, those countries who are, are more advanced in, in, in this technology and who have very highly qualified uh, clinics and, and clinicians with, uh, with uh, many years and thousands of operations of experience and it's, I mean simply they go to Russia. This is the reality today because the doctors are there very good and they go to India, they are also very good. They are not cheaper in India, they are very good. Every patient, whatever their condition, whatever their bone condition or a teeth condition, it is possible to provide implants within a short period of time. That is the beauty of this implant system. And patients are very excited and very happy. They are already seeing the success in a dentist doing this for them. This technology is very comfortable for the patient, I think. It's, um, it's minimal invasive, so um, 
the patient uh, doesn't suffer too much. Everything is getting uh, finished in three, four days, three days uh, at least. And um, there are no such big pain after um, this intervention. And uh, I think it's the best way to do it. So the patients will have just to, to know that it's possible. So the, there are actually three main reasons. First is a, a less invasive procedure. Second reason is uh, this, um, um, it's, it's, it's fast. It's just in a few days they can get uh, uh, fixed teeth, and third, uh, because of this first two, uh, it's uh, relatively cheaper than uh, two-stage implants. So, three good reasons to come to, to, this, to use this system. The treatments for today are finished, and the implants are in place. The patients are free to leave. Just 24 hours later, the patients arrive back for their next appointment. In the meantime, the dental laboratory has been busy crafting precision dental metal bridges. Only the world's best dental technicians are taking part in this first international world championship. We have to make uh, models uh, regarding the impressions and then we start to modulate the frames. Now we are working on uh, metal. For us it's really, really hard work. The next day, Tuesday, 10 a.m. After just 24 hours, the precision-made metal bridges have arrived from the dental laboratory. The patients have been called back and are ready and waiting in the dentist's chairs. The metal bridges must now simply be fitted into place. Back in the dental laboratory. The teeth must now be fixed into place on the metal bridges. Ceramic or synthetic materials can be used depending on the situation. Precision work and many years of experience are essential for this type of work. The work of the implantologists, as well as that of the dental technicians, is being judged at this World Championship. It's 9am on Wednesday, day 3 of the first International Dental Implantation World Championship. Patients, who in the meantime have been completely pain-free, are waiting excitedly for the big moment, their final fitted bridges. After just 72 hours, all of the medical and dental work has been completed. A big day for all those involved. Um, we just finished the treatment, we just fixed the teeth, and the patient will go home now, and uh, since now he can simply eat any food he wants. There was no any swelling. The patient uh, reported that he feels good. Later on, we only will need to see him for the control checkups. It's clear to see that the patients are delighted with their new teeth and extremely grateful to the implantologists. No other procedure can produce such convincing results and in such a short treatment period. Compared to other painful and protracted implantation methods, the issue of cost is also unique. The procedure costs are just a fraction of that of other methods. This dental implantation procedure, developed by Dr. Stefan Ida, is unrivaled in every aspect and is the best such treatment worldwide. It's Thursday, 10 a.m., and the first International Dental Implantation World Championship has come to an end. All of the participants are taking part in a debriefing session where all the cases and solutions are presented in detail once again. Experiences are exchanged and the work is evaluated. Prize giving ceremony is just a few hours away. Each and every implantologist and dental technician has demonstrated their ability several times throughout the championship. The final can begin. Dr. Antonina Ide, world champion in the discipline of stematophic Dr. Stefan Ide, world champion in the discipline of stematophic Kate 
Katarina Markova, world champion in the discipline Extreme Atrophic Cases Lower Jaw. The teams have competed in five of seven disciplines. Four teams have made it through, while one team has been disqualified. This shows once again the high standards present at this first international Dental Implantation World Championship. The participants and teams have packed their bags and it's time to leave. Dr. Ida gives us his final thoughts. Yes, it was a very tough week. It was a very interesting uh, competition. All the teams gave their best. We tried very hard to help the patients. We had very complicated cases. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the evening we always sat together, we were discussing the cases. Actually we had more patients to treat than, we, than were needed for the competition. In the end we had to do 21 draws, but we helped them all, we finished it all. Also thanks to the, to the dentist technician who did a real great job. It was all really perfectly organized. And our team definitely will try to be in the competition also next year, so we will try to qualify again for the immediate loading world championship.